Like, look at this baby. I'm so excited. Mm, your privacy mom. And it's so hard to explain how much you can bond to these birds once they're born. They are the most lovable thing. Because nobody got to see our bedroom emu videos. They were before YouTube, but we raised the emu like a kitten. excited to have these ginormous eggs and while we did all of the things we wanted to do to capture their growth inside the egg it was prior to YouTube um, so you guys actually kind of missed out on it we'll see if we can find those videos because it was very cool stop shaking my head so I already looked um, oh, well I have them um, so we have one full day 24 hours in the incubator for these eggs and what we're actually going to do, we have our temperature right, which is very tricky. Um, the humidity is so high and you need it so low. So we actually have something to pull the humidity out of the incubator. Um, in the future, maybe we would get an incubator with the fan in it. But um, for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to weigh the eggs. And what that is going to do is that as you weigh the eggs, you can tell if they're developing or not because they're losing weight. Um, we didn't actually do that for the first batch of eggs that we had because um, we didn't have a scale, but we have a scale now, so we're going to try and see because um, we're just so excited and all we see now is emus. Um, today I actually got tagged by two separate people when someone posted that there's emus to be owned, um, so I think we're very obvious in our love for these dinosaurs. Um, so here's our incubator here. I'm only going to take it one at a time um, because... It's, I don't, I didn't put a bowl. Um, I want to just be very, very careful with these eggs. And so in here we have our thing that's getting rid of the humidity paper towel to also keep our humidity down. And we are actually perfect at 35. So we're very perfect. Humidity keeps rising and lowering because, uh, the emu eggs give off massive quantities of moisture, yeah. which is why it's so hard to keep the humidity stable. So, the trick is going to be, we're not going to know which egg is which, but... We'll know where they are within. Okay, so this is 542 grams, 24 hours. So, it's going to put... One there. Like, look at this baby. I'm so excited. Mm, your privacy mom. And it's so hard to explain how much you can bond to these birds once they're born. They are the most lovable thing. Because nobody got to see our bedroom emu videos. They were before YouTube, but we raised the emu like a kitten. Yeah. And we bonded to it like a kitten. And, <clears throat> and she loved us. We loved her. Uh, the Tim Hortons people loved her because she loved to go for car <laughs> rides. This is number two. Uh, so this is number two. Oh, this is a big one. 588. It's a big um. So she has Delta and Charlie, and the reason is because that's their names. They are getting military-style names of Dar Del Delta, Charlie, and Echo. All right. Which, besides being military names, are just really good emu names, oddly enough. And it's the name of the raptors. Hi, Jurassic Park. Obviously, we can't do blue. We had a blue. Um, blue is we done. We don't reuse names mm -hmm. here. 
So this blue was a being light one, so blue being the best raptor, unfortunately we lost that. Oh. Thing. 571. So it was not the light one. This is why you can't uh trust your senses all the time. She especially can't trust her senses. <laughs> and so Echo. That's Echo. Echo's gotta make it. It's a cute name. So Aren't they cool? Now, we did, I'm going to put it back and then I'll, I'll tell you a little story. So we're actually, these stickers here are so that we can see. Um, and so we rock them, but they're not ready to turn yet. So I want to make sure that they stay in the exact same position that they're supposed to be in right now. So we do it three times a day in a rocking motion. So left, right, left. 180 degrees um, for between 42 to 56 ish days, depending on how they go. Now, we actually had an emu that was stuck in an egg. And you're not supposed to ever do this, but when you're a nervous parent, you kind of try to help. And we actually tried to do an air hole in it because it was well past when it should have come out. Knowing now what we know, we shouldn't have done it, but at the same time, she was never coming out of that egg. We knew that. Um, so she was, she was dead either way. But trying to get through that egg, and if they hatch, even if they don't hatch, we will show you how thick that egg is. And people use it for carving and everything. It is thick. So when you will see the edges of that egg and the bird that comes out of it, like the strength is phenomenal. Like, we think everything else, like a live birth, might be hard, I guess, on animals, which I'm not saying it isn't, but they're coming through concrete. It's crazy. And they do not have a egg tooth, so it's yeah. very hard for them. It's kind of like the panic to, mm -hmm. yeah. to kick out. So I guess it shows the power of their legs, which also makes them incredibly dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, but we're very excited, and so hopefully we'll bring you along with this journey. Hopefully it has a happy ending. Um... But we are at 24 hours, we have our ways. Um, I may not do it every day, I might do it every second day and just kind of see. Because I also don't want to open up the incubator a lot and let all that health out. So, yep. So we'll see. We'll I'm see how. And then, hours. <laughs> and then we'll, once we get to lockdown, it gets even more exciting. That's when you leave oh them alone. Gosh. And we'll give you the advice that we didn't follow mm -hmm. that you should get in every emu video you watch. Do not assist your emus in getting out of their egg. Ever. Leave them to their own devices. Mm -hmm. They might not get out of their egg, but I'll tell you right now that if you try to help them, they'll definitely not get out of their egg. Yeah. It they just will die. it just creates complications. Anyway, we can get into the specifics of why and what in another video. This video was about the weighing and that's very exciting. Yeah. So follow along and we'll show you how the emu eggs lose weight. Yeah. And yeah. Fingers crossed, we'll see who is performing the best, whether it's Delta Charlie Echo. And we'll start a countdown for a very, very exciting time, but we're not going to tell you what that day is. It's not going to be when they hatch, but it does have to do with them prior to hatching, and you are going to love it. So stay tuned. <laughs>